Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Happy to see you here. Really interesting algebra problem today. We need to raise these to the 12th power. But why this is not like an easy one? Because for here we have square root of 5 and we have the sum in our denominator, so it's not like a 1 half to the 12th power. We have square root and we need to simplify it step by step. We need to find our answer. How can we find this answer? I want to show you a really good three steps. How can you do this? First of all, let's, let's write this element as our x. So our x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2. So this is our x. and Let's work with this. Let's find our x from this expression because we have a constant so we can easily find our, our x. Cross multiplying to x equal to 1 plus square root of 5. Let's bring this one on the left hand side. We have 2x minus 1 equal to square root of 5. And we don't need the square root. Let's raise this to the square to the second power. If we raise this, both elements right here to the square and right here to the square, what we have as a result? This is a minus b squared. This is a classic formula that we know from school. So we have 4x squared minus 4x and plus 1 equal to equal to 5. So what are we going to do next? Bringing this one on the on the right hand side, we have that our that our 4x squared minus 4x and minus 4 equal to 0. I'm bringing this 5 on the left hand side. So this is our a quadratic equation. But how can we find our x from here? Let's divide our equation by 4. So dividing by 4. And we have one, one really interesting moment that our x squared minus x and minus 1 equal to 0. But we don't need to solve it. We don't need to solve this equation. We need to write only one moment that our x square equal to x plus 1. And this is the key moment in this problem. So x square equal to x plus 1. Because as you can see right here, we can change square root, square sign by the first power. So this is look like a, to go down and down with these powers because we need 12 power. Okay. We need this element. And let's go to the second step. Second step, we know that x to the 12th power, we can write it in another way. We don't know a formula with this. We can write it as x square to the 6th power. So, and let's work with this. x square to the 6th power, this is our x to the 12th power that we need right here. So let's work with this x square to the 6th power. Okay, we all know our x square, x square equal to x plus 1. So as a result, we have x plus 1 to the 6th power. And as you can see, we don't have square. We have only our this answer, which is equal to x to the 12th power. This is good for us. But we don't need to use this 6th power. Let's write this x plus 1 to the 6th power as x plus 1 square all raised to the 3rd power. Let's step by step go further and further to our, to our answer. Okay, what did give us? this information did give us that right here we read this to the square power let's do this we have x square x square plus 2x and plus 1 and we raise to the cube okay we just raise this to the to the second power okay and right now i want to show you a really good really good moment right here because x square equal to x plus 1 and it's really good because we can write it as x plus 1, x plus 1, plus 2x, plus 1, raised to the third power. And if we add this, we will have that our 3x plus 2 cube. So I hope you understand this step. We just go step by step to our, to our answer. Okay, why this is good for us? Because we can write this 3x plus 2 to the third power as 3x plus 2 squared times 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2. Just separate it, just write it in a lower power right here. Because right now we can easily raise this to the square power. Let's raise this right here to the square. What we have as a result? We have 9x square, 9x square, plus 12x and plus 4 times 3x plus 2. 
Okay, why did why I raise this to the square? Because we have right here x square and we can easily change it by x plus 1 because we change it in this step and in this step we can change it as well. So as a result, what we have? We have 9, 9 times x plus 1 plus 12x, this is completely the same, 12x and plus 4 and 3x plus 2 in the end. So we just change this x square by this rule x square equal to x plus 1. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. Let's raise this, let's multiply this but now by 9. I write it right here on the top. What we have? We have first parentheses. We have 9x plus 9 plus 12x plus 4 and times 3x, 3x plus 2. So I just write it on the top and open this, open this parentheses. So right now I can easily write that our x to the 12th power because we go from here with this simplifying step. So this is equal to our x to the 12th power. So our x to the 12th power equal to equal to the next, equal to 21x. We add this x's plus 13 and times 3x plus 2. Okay, we just need to multiply it multiply this parentheses and let's let's do this right now we have 30 30 63 x square if you multiply it plus 42 x plus 39 x and in the end plus 13 times 2 plus 26 okay equal to x square as in the previous step right here we x square change right here we change this x square by x plus 1 so let's change this x square plus 1 we have 63 times x plus 1 plus right here we add it we have 81x and plus 26 let's open our parentheses we have 63x plus 63 plus 81x and plus 26. Let's add it. We have 63x, we have 81x. So as a result, we have that our x to the 12th power equal to 144x plus 89. So our x to the 12th power equal to this, to this expression. But why this expression is good for us? Because we have our x right here and we had a substitution that our x equal to, so we can easily write it, but x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So we can easily plug in this element right here. So we have 144 times 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and we need to add 89. So as a result, right here dividing by 2 we have 72. 72 times 1 plus square root of 5 plus 89. Open parentheses, as a result we have 72 plus 72 square root of 5 and plus 89. So as a result, at this constant we have 161 plus 72 square root of 5. And this is our answer. So x to the 12th power equal to 161 plus 72 square root of 5. And this is our answer. Really good question. I hope you don't have any difficulties with this. If you have any question, write a question in comment. This is not like an easy question. This is a tricky question. So we, firstly, we need to find that our x square is equal to a lower power because we don't need x square equal to x cube. We need x square equal to to x and we step by step we go to the lower power right here we have x square we go with x plus one we have right here x square we go with x plus one right here we have x square we go with x plus one so step by step we go to the lower power right here and as a result we have we have our answer complicated problem hard problem i think for you because this is not like an easy problem with this square root 5 this is not like an easy problem so we can we need to find tricks right here i i leave this paper right here in the in the full size just want you to look closely once more to this and i hope you will understand this this explanation if you don't understand write a question in comment i try to help everyone 
and thank you so much for watching subscribing i really appreciate it it helps me a lot it inspires me a lot to make new content every day and see you in the next videos thank you for watching subscribing and have a great day and take care of yourself see you in the next videos